to do like what should we do well first of all um give yourselves time to do nothing you know what i mean like like have have some time to just go with the flow do what you want to do um you don't need to pile everything in at first you can also do a love language quiz together if you haven't done that yet how to tame down my woman's capriciousness you need to actually <laughs> get out of this relationship so that she can be in a relationship with somebody who enjoys all of her like all of her all of her passion you don't want to tame somebody down i mean if you want to tame somebody down then you are in the wrong relationship right so you need to be in a relationship with somebody who matches your energy who is where you want to be with that person um but somebody who is outgoing and passionate needs to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't try to pour water on her fire so that's my answer to that maybe you are in the wrong relationship but the last thing you should want to do to somebody is repress them my ex was definitely a selfish short-term thinker i'm at a good point where i know it was for the best that we split yes uh, I didn't delete the last video. I didn't. Uh, TikTok took it down for apparently bullying and harassment. So somebody didn't like that. I'm here saying, look, like, um, you don't, you don't get to define us. You don't get to tell us that what we do for our pleasure because we enjoy our bodies and our movement is wrong. Uh, so maybe somebody was like, mm, no, no, I really want to tell women they're wrong. So I don't like this video. I don't know, but it got taken down. So I didn't delete it. Uh, I probably will be making it in some form or fashion again. Do -do -do. First time I came across your profile. What do you think? What do you think? Hello. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I don't set for fools. After some trust issues, I want. So I don't set for fools. After some trust issues, I want to so show my boyfriend I do indeed trust him, but I don't know how. Um, so, you know, basically all you do is just be you, right? Just be you. Um, if he's the one who broke your trust issues, then, uh, you know, just let him continue being him. And the way you show that you don't have trust issues is you're not asking to check up on them. You're comfortable. You're okay. And so all you need to do is communicate. I'm okay. Boyfriend and I broke up a week ago. Uh, best tips to heal. So I have a book for you. It's Come Back Queen. This is how you put your heart back together and get yourself ready to start dating again. How to let my woman let go of past experiences which she brought up on a daily basis. Uh, I would get fixed that shit. This is honestly the book on moving forward and being present in the moment and looking towards the future with optimism. It is a process. She does need to shrink her amygdala, which is her brain's fight or flight, which is reproducing stress, fear, and anxiety over and over again. When she brings up things that haven't happened in a long time, it's because her brain is on a loop and she needs to unloop her brain. So essentially changing how you think, changing how you feel, changing the behaviors you feel compelled to do. This is a process, not a quickie answer, but this is the book that gets you through the process. Went on a date the other day. He goes out a lot, but says he wouldn't be in a relationship. Goes out a lot, but says he wouldn't Oh, in a relationship? No, 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 no. Best way to future behavior is past behavior. This is somebody saying, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, so don't uh, don't take what he says at face value. 
you say no kissing for three months, dating rule, no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers for three months, doesn't matter what they say, what matters is what they do. If over the course of three months, he goes out more than you want with somebody you wanna be with, this is who he is. It's like, you know, people saying, oh, I'm gonna work out once I get into a relationship. Uh, I'm gonna eat better once I get into a relationship. I'm gonna drink less once I get into a relationship. No, it's either where you are at this point in your life or it's not. If you're looking for a relationship to change you, then you're looking for a relationship for the wrong reason. So don't fall into this trap of believing what they say over what they exhibit. My boyfriend and I broke up five days ago. He's already back on dating apps. Yeah. So? So? What he does doesn't matter, right? This is, this is where I like to use the word irrelevant. You are not together. Stop looking backwards. Stop watching him. Stop poking yourself in the eye by watching his behavior. You're looking for him to suffer while you are suffering. This is not how you're going to heal yourself. This is not how you're going to find your next relationship. This is not how you're going to be happy. So instead of looking to somebody to suffer because you are suffering, say, how am I going to end my suffering? How am I going to heal? What am I going to do to find the next partner? How are they going to be better than the one I just left behind? Those are the relevant questions, not why is he back on dating apps already? Um, that's irrelevant, that doesn't matter. You need to really start planning your own life and start getting your own happiness in order. No More Assholes is gonna help you do that. It helps you shrink your amygdala, reduce stress, fear, and anxiety, get you looking towards the future with optimism, gaining more confidence, getting uh, more self-esteem, really making sure you define your next relationship properly so that it's a level up from this one. Always level up, you guys. Always, always level up. Boyfriend told me I'm just projecting my sadness onto our relationship when I expressed my unhappiness. I would suggest a coaching session to get uh, some clarity on this. Maybe he's right, maybe he's wrong. Um, but I don't know without getting a ton of details. So if you wanted to get an assessment on your relationship, uh, whether you're doing the right things or the wrong things with the right person or the wrong person, uh, do get yourself a coaching session. You can get, uh, you can get that through the link to my bio. There is a coaching button there. Uh, and make sure you follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session. Divorce for about a year, scared to start dating. That's what No More Assholes is all about. Knowledge is power. When you understand how to start dating, um, when you understand how to vet, right? Because the reason why we're scared to start dating, it's not about the dating. It's uh, how am I gonna feel about rejection? Am I going to choose the right partner next time? Those are the fears. Uh, how am I gonna meet people? What should I do when I meet people? When you, when you become knowledgeable about something, you eliminate the fears about it. So eliminate the fear and, and fill yourself up with knowledge and understand how to move forward and find the right partner. Just watch and see. Is there an equivalent to fix session for men? I am literally writing fix session for men now. Uh, so the equivalent is going to be published within the next few months. So do stay tuned, keep watching, stick with me. I'm writing a fix session for men. I love how you cut straight through the BS. Thank you. Dating your best friend. Uh, you know, listen, if the two of you are on the same page, it's, it's not just about dating your best friend. It's do we have the same goals? Do we have the same timelines, right? Do we want the same things in life? Not just, do I like this person? Am I attracted to them? A relationship, if you're looking for the future husband, future baby daddy, right? Future person I'm gonna buy a house with, there's a lot you need to consider. So make sure you've considered all that, but the best relationships are with your best friend. So you know, my husband is my best friend, I'm his best friend. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with dating your best friend, but make sure you are aligned. Uh, thank you for this message. You're so welcome. Hello, loves. Hi, are we allowed to ask for advice? Yes. 
noticing some red flags after five years of dating but no don't know if they're a big deal uh advice get a coaching session get some clarity uh because i don't know what the red flags are maybe it's truly is a red flag uh maybe it's a perception issue perception is not always reality by the way how do you move on after he got another woman pregnant you, you like us i wouldn't stay in that relationship uh, I wouldn't stay in that relationship and I would grab no more assholes and get myself a man who uh, doesn't lack integrity because what this person did obviously was go have unprotected sex, sex while they're having unprotected sex with you, which is a huge no-no um, because he's basically putting your physical health at risk by doing that. And that's somebody who really doesn't care about you. <clears throat> Hola. I was sad about the lack of affection we have now. He said the honeymoon phase isn't going to last forever. So um, when you are vetting, right? I always say use a no kissing for three months dating rule because it creates a lot of opportunity. Uh, to have conversations. One of these conversations you need to have is about love languages. Before you choose somebody for uh, to have conversations, one of these conversations you need to have is about love languages. By the way, it just doesn't make sense to be like, okay, let me check you out for however long it takes for me to figure out that you're not right for me. So no kissing for three months means no commitment. No commitment means I can see multiple people simultaneously. So I'm not wasting time going through five people one at a time in you know rather than five people all at once you can you can spend time with five people all at once getting to know each one on a deeper level some people won't last long some people will last longer you choose the best partner eventually so while you are in this vetting phase which is no kissing no sleepovers no sex do a love language quiz find out where physical affection like what is your love language know what that is see where that is on their love language quiz if I'm high in physical affection, the worst thing I can do for myself is, is get in a relationship with somebody who's low on physical affection because I will always be wanting and they will always be pushing me off. So this is where your frustration might lie. Do a love language quiz with this person. Find out where physical affection is with them. And here's the thing with physical affection. Don't wait for it to happen. If you want it, go get it. Go create it. I kiss my husband because I want to kiss my husband. I cuddle him because I want to kiss him. I don't stand back and go, I want to kiss. I want to see if he notices and comes and give me a kiss because it's been a while since the last time he initiated a kiss. I don't wait for him to initiate anything. If I want it, I go get it. Does the three month rule apply if we've been talking on social media and texting for six months? Are you included in their life? Have you met their friends? Have you met their inner circle? Have you FaceTimed often enough to feel like you've been included in their life? If the answer is no, the answer is no. It hasn't been long enough. I feel like I never got the honeymoon phase. I need more affection. Should I tell him? Do a love language quiz. Don't just go and demand something, right? Make it tangible and real and understandable for them. Hey, baby, let's do a love language quiz so that we can understand each other better and I'll better understand how to love you. Now, the two of you do a love language quiz and he sees where physical affection is on him. You see where he sees where physical affection lies on you. You see where it lies on him. Instead of just having this conversation where you say, you're not doing enough. You're not good enough. Um, do the quiz. Make it real. Quiz. stuck in the middle well why are they upset is it because you're trying to make things work with somebody who lacks integrity are you trying to make things work with somebody who's a selfish short-term thinker and they want better for you have you read no more assholes have you have you graded this person's paper on the 12 character traits making sure they get at least a 9 out of 12 your friends might be right What should I do if my boyfriend wanted a break and made it clear that we aren't breaking up and it'll help us? Then you need clarity. Like, what does that mean? How long do you mean? Like, nobody has the right to say, I don't want to be with you, but I don't want you to be with anybody else. So what does a break mean? 
<clears throat> what does a break mean? It'll help us. What does that mean? Does that mean you're not talking to other people? Does that mean you're not spending time with other people? Like, what does it mean? What are the parameters? What are you expecting of yourself? What are you expecting of me? What does this mean? Never met any of friends I felt hidden. Don't kiss that person. Uh, I always try to touch my ex he never wanted to be with me made me feel unwanted never met any of his friends that felt hidden so don't be in a relationship obviously with this person don't pursue them don't try to rekindle anything move on get no more assholes make sure you do better how do i improve my confidence with girls it starts with your body language for one thing um because like there's there's always a communication between your brain and your body right like i have an anxious fearful thought my body explodes in an anxious fearful emotion right now you want to feel more confident so what are you doing with your body in order for your brain to think you are more confident always make sure shoulders are back straight chin straight uh walk solid you know what i mean like walk solid uh own your space look at people who are confident look at people who you go man so confident i wish i was like them study them watch them how do they hold themselves how do they talk what are their arms like what are their hands doing what are their shoulders doing what are their faces doing what is the eye contact doing if you want to be more confident study confidence and emulate confidence and you will become more confident August mom, thank you. Mike, thank you for following you too. Where can I take the quiz, the love language quiz? So there's a button to that in the link tree in my bio. Hello, hello Asnaz. Ashu, thank you. We broke up because he didn't want to have at least nine qualities, but I'm doing the three month rule to see if it helps. Good. You're so smart. Good, good, good. My ex wants us to not be with other people, goes on periods of ghosting for up to 24 hours. Your ex. Do you hear the words coming out of your mouth? You're letting your ex decide how you're going to live your life. Do you understand that? Do you understand that you are letting somebody who said to you, I don't want to be with you, but I don't want you to be with anybody else. You're letting that person dictate how you are going to live your life. No, get no more assholes, do better, learn better, and take control of your life. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. You've taken your life and put it in your ex's hands and say, here you go, play me like a puppet. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. Hello, I love you. Libra, thank you for following. Players want their cake and eat it too. Bam. Zagerman, thank you for following. Is it okay to get back with the father of my children? We broke up a year ago to grow more as people. Uh, before you do that, get no more assholes and fix that shit or come get an assessment. Uh, don't just take somebody back because there's history. Take them back because they are the right person. I get that people can change. So use no more assholes to understand what the changes should be. There are 12 character traits in there. They need to score at least a nine out of 12. If they are indeed at least a nine out of 12 and they have changed and the change is evident, they're not just saying I changed. The change is evident. If they have changed and the change is evident, then grab fix that shit and learn how to relationship properly so that you guys stop doing this in and out because that is um, causing havoc with the children. So if you guys are gonna get back together, make it count, make it stick, make it right. Hello, my ex did say he didn't want us talking to other people during the three months. Be Hello, my ex did say he didn't want us talking to other people during the three months. Be the people during the three months. Be the people during the three months because we already dated during 
no, 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 no. Like this is an X and X doesn't get to dictate your life. Um, the man I was dating was hiding a girl in his bathroom and I reacted out of character. Should I be embarrassed? Uh, that doesn't make any sense, my love. How to know a man has good intentions? Use a no kissing, no sleepovers, no sex for three months dating rule. Um, if they are interested in a relationship and they find you have the potential that they're looking for, then this is not a problem for them. If this is a problem for them, then you know it was about what they could get, not about what they could build and contribute with you. Uh, do you get no more assholes because I walk you through how to use that no kissing for three months dating rule, the science so that you can have an intelligent conversation about this, what it does and doesn't mean, what's in and what's out essentially, how to use this rule without driving away somebody who's interested in you. In other words, how to use this rule without making somebody feel rejected. This is, a, you know, a delicate dance to do, um, but you absolutely can do this. I've done this myself a few times. It definitely works in helping you make sure you get into the right relationship. Alexandra, I would suggest a coaching session because this is a very individualistic um, scenario that you're talking about and without unpacking all the details, um, I can't really give you an answer. My boyfriend just broke up with me. Which book do you recommend me to read? So it depends. If you are hurting, uh, you know, like basically broken heart, uh, Come Back Queen is the book that helps you put your heart back together and heal. If you're like, oh, you know what, that hurts, but you know, it's not going to take too much to get like, it's, you know, you got like a little bit of getting over, but more than anything, you're ready to make sure your next one is so much better than this one. Then jump into No More Assholes. I do give you some instructions in the beginning on how to heal a broken heart. Uh, if you need in depth, like you're really hurt, then come back queen. But if it's like, oh, that really, that stings. Um, queen. But if it's like, oh, that really, that stings. Um, then no more assholes gets you through the hump and gets you looking towards your next relationship, really properly planning how you're gonna get into your next relationship instead of just falling into your next relationship, really properly planning how you're gonna get into your next relationship instead of just falling into your next relationship. If you fall into your next relationship, chances are you will repeat a pattern. So whatever your relationship history is, is what you will fall into again. If you use a different method of dating, in other words, the no kissing for three months dating rule, meditation to reduce anxiety so that you're not anxiously pulling in somebody who pulls away because they're not getting what they want when they want it. Um, there's a lot of science in No More Assholes. I really teach you guys how to date from a standpoint of using all three parts of yourself, your biological body, your logical mind, your spiritual connections, and really finding that really, really good one. Um, so, you know, like I say, when you're ready to start dating, ready to get into that next relationship, never forget that knowledge is power. Empower yourself to choose someone amazing. My thoughts on going back to an ex, don't do it unless change is evident, like, like obviously there. Um, and read No More Assholes so that you make sure, like my husband and I, when we got back together the last time, we still fought for 10 years and we almost divorced because I didn't do what was in No More Assholes until we were almost divorcing. Um, had I started doing that right away, like honestly, if, I st if I've been doing No More, or fix that shit, I mean, if I've been doing fix that shit from the beginning, we would not have had 10 years of fighting. 
Um, so if you guys have broken up and you're reconciling your relationship, jump in to fix that shit and make sure that you solidify it and get the conflict out of your relationship once and for all. Do you think it's possible for someone who has cheated in the past to not cheat again? It is, but if they're a serial cheater, forget it. So cheat in, singular, possible, plural, forget about it. Is it weird for a guy to mention a want to cuddle with you that first week of knowing each other? And not necessarily. This may be a very sensitive, open, affectionate person. Um, but uh, take your time, right? You say no kissing for three months dating rule. Don't cuddle just because they want to cuddle. Cuddle because you feel warm and fuzzy about them. <clears throat> You're welcome. Take a break and now we're both ready to work for each other. Have your books, uh, have your books, any other advice? Um, so here's the thing about Fix That Shit, which is probably the book that you're talking about, right? Took a break, now we're both ready to work for each other. So you're probably talking about Fix That Shit. The key to this is consistency. So that is my advice, is be consistent. Stay consistent with the work that you're applying in Fix That Shit. Um, because there will, you know, it's two steps forward, one step back. There is going to be this back and forth sometimes, but make sure that you're keeping the momentum going by staying consistent, especially with taking responsibility for your behavior. If you have a slip, take responsibility for it and keep that forward momentum going. Don't let ego get in your way. Don't let ego dictate your behaviors. My boyfriend added a girl that flirted with him. Should I be concerned? Of course. Of course. Why Why is he adding her other than she's an ego stroke? Uh, do you recommend taking a break in a relationship to reset our connection in ourselves? I don't think you need to take a break to do that. I think you just need to apply what is in fix that shit and stay consistent with it. Roman, thank you for following. I love your hair. I wish I could cut it, spin it into yarn. <laughs> Need you with a cardigan. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how weird that is. I don't, I don't. I'm not quite sure what to make of that one. Are you a licensed therapist? No, better. I didn't waste all that time and money. <laughs> better. I'm a coach. I'm a coach. Uh, I, I don't just sit here and like when I do my sessions, um, obviously you need to tell me what's going on, right? Otherwise I can't, you know, dig deep and unpack it, right? So there is an element of talk to what it is that we do. But once I understand what's going on and I'm very good at this, uh, I break it down so that you can understand what's going on because we get very caught up in the stories in our head and our perceptions and our emotions. And my strength is helping you understand why things have happened the way they've happened. And then I give you the tools to undo this and turn it around and create something better within yourself and in your relationship. Uh, so a lot of uh, licensed therapists are doing what I call um, textbook teaching. I read this and so this is what I'm telling you. Whereas uh, I, that's not what I do. I, I don't teach people how to change anything. I haven't changed myself. So I understand the nuances of the journey because I've actually traveled it. Boyfriend acts really warm and friendly with family and friends except me. Sounds like you're in the wrong relationship because uh, you know they're not treating you as well as they treat other people. So they're... Um, you know, lack of warmth and friendliness is situational. Uh, they reserve that lack only for you. I wouldn't stay in a relationship with somebody who treated me worse than other people. My relationship rule is I will not be in a relationship with somebody who treats other people better than me. That needs to be your relationship rule as well. Uh, do you recommend no kissing for three months if you're reconnecting after a break? If you need to see change, yes, absolutely. Uh, 
He said he doesn't want to get attached because he might move out of the country. Should I drop it? 100% yes. Unequivocally, 100% yes. Is it okay to move in with a friend instead of a boyfriend? 100% yes. Absolutely. I spent six months friends with a guy who seemed great, then dated and moved in, and he became toxic, so leave. Uh, I'm a life coach. I'm an award-winning life coach. I dropped out of university because it, I really felt it was a waste of my time and money. I learned a lot faster on my own. I was pursuing a degree because I thought I would go work for, you know, an institution and, and go do therapy. But I realized that the way therapy is done is not the way I want to practice. And so I decided to work for myself. I don't require a piece of paper. Uh, to prove that I'm knowledgeable. I actually know that I'm knowledgeable. Uh, so, but I did win a uh, award for life coaching and that's uh, great. I like that. But for me, honestly, the biggest certification is how people respond to what I teach, which is that they find my uh, education very beneficial and it helps them in their love life and in their personal life tremendously so for me that means more than anything i've had a lot of people come to me after going to licensed professionals saying that i've been much more beneficial and helpful in their journey than somebody that they've gone to for a year who has letters after their name I have your fix that shit book i'm in love with it thank you I feel like all women are the same after a traumatic relationship, but you don't want to think that. Uh, this All women are the same, maybe, I don't know. Like we are individualistic, right? Like we are snowflakes. We, we are all, you know, we're all made of water, but we all have a unique design and two people living the exact same experience will actually come out of it with different thoughts and feelings about it. I'm in love with fix that shit. What do you like, my love? What do you like? Share. <clears throat> Is it okay to tell my boyfriend I'm moving in? I want to live but not as roomies of course it is of course it is love bombing what's your take using no kissing no sleepovers no sex for three months dating rule uh to not get trapped in it right um because love bombing combined with a kiss creates massive confusion so if you use a no kissing for three months dating rule you know if that's not who they really are then it doesn't sustain itself for three months if they're using it as a tactic, they fall off before three months. So don't fall for somebody who's using manipulation tactics to get you into a relationship. You're welcome. You've helped me way more than my therapist. Thank you, my love. Advice on keeping a relationship interesting during lockdown. Uh, just FaceTime. And just don't text each other all day long, but save your conversations for FaceTime so that you have more dynamic conversations. First date today, he's picking me up, taking me to ice cream, nervous, but I can use your tips. Good, good, good. Love it, good. Is it bad if you're the only one to ask your friends to hang out, but they don't ask you to hang out? Not necessarily. Do, 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 do. 
boyfriend has a gym coach that is his ex's brother. He is yet to mention it. What do I do? It's a coach. So, um, you know, so he's probably using this person because they are effective. Um, so yet to mention it, his ex's brother, what do I do? Uh, I would just not say anything and just wait for him to bring it up on his own. I would play, I would do that. Listen, if you're not bothered by it, don't act like you're bothered by it, right? Um, is there something to be bothered by it? It's a coach, so probably not. Um, so, you know, don't act like you're, like you're bothered by it, like it's worth being bothered by. Um, just, you know, he thinks it's, it's irrelevant. Um, I don't know if, right? Like, do you think he's using his ex's brother as a means of trying to get back to his ex? If that's, if you think that's what's happening, if you think there's some form of manipulation going on, um, then I just wouldn't stay in that relationship. I'm going to really complicate a relationship. I don't know how to save it because we've tried so much. So you can uh, try fix that shit. You can see if he's a selfish short-term thinker, which is why it's so hard. No More Assholes has 12 character traits in it that you can grade their paper on. He needs to get at least a 9 out of 12. Uh, you can get a coaching session so that I can do an assessment and see if this is hard because you're with a selfish short-term thinker or if it's hard because you're doing the wrong things. Um, either way, I can give you some clarity on which direction to go in. I love watching your lives. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. Uh, they reassure me not to go to my ex even when I'm lonely. Good girl. My boyfriend still has things. Hey, Portugal. My boyfriend still has things of ex-girlfriend. How do I tell him this bothers me? Um, so, I mean, are they meaning, like, is he keeping them around like they're meaningful? Like she gave me a teddy bear and it's on my bed every night. Um, you know, is it pictures? Is it like, like, are, are you giving them more meaning than he is, right? Like, you know, I found my husband's ex's lotion in the, the cabinet, uh, the, you know, the closet in the hallway. Is, is it there because it was meaningful to him? No, it was there because it was just there. So, uh, you know, don't create lightning rods for anxiety. Um, don't turn little things into big fights. Understand, you know, if, if you're giving it more oomph than is necessary. You replied to me on Instagram and helped me a lot. Thank you for being awesome. You're so welcome. Thoughts on open relationships, whatever, you know, um, consenting adults do that make them happy is totally fine by me. It doesn't matter. How much should you text your SO? Like how much is too much communication versus not enough? If you were to get on the phone with them or on a FaceTime and you have nothing to say because you said it all over text, then you're texting too much. Um, right so, but and you know unless you guys want to be texting each other all day long if it's too much for them it's too much if it's so much that when it comes time to do facetimes you have nothing to say then it's too much you're not leaving anything for actual conversations a guy who goes to me after we had a guy who goes to me after we had a fight came back and apologized how do i make him behave better um so I don't know. I don't know if you're pursuing a selfish short-term thinker or not. I would get no more assholes and make sure that you are properly assessing people. Um, and if he's a generous long-term thinker, then fix that shit is going to help you create a relationship dynamic that has no conflict. What if he's amazing, but he keeps smoking? So you can find an amazing person who doesn't smoke if you want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't smoke. Yes, I am married. How do my husband and I stop assuming so much? Ask yourself, am I, am I creating a story in my head? Uh, when you find yourself upset about something, go, okay, wait a second. Have I created a story in my head? 
happily married. Notes from her in her bracelet. So where are they? It's very helpful for this content. Thank you. Is it bad that I feel like I am bad at having conversations with my significant other? You can change that, right? Like if you want to have better conversations, you can absolutely change that. You can do more studying about uh, the things that you two tend to have conversations about. If he has less than nine qualities, how could we work on that? Not we. It's not a we. If he has less than nine qualities, that's a, that's a him problem. That's not a we problem. It's not a you problem. It's a him problem. Uh, he needs to up his ante. He needs to decide he wants more. He needs to decide he wants to be more. So if he has less than nine qualities, he has to work on that, not we. My partner just moved uh, four hours away for the next two years. I'm struggling to accept this. I have a long distance guide in the link tree in my bio. It's free. So uh, if you want, there's tips on how to maintain intimacy, grow intimacy, resolve conflict in that. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, you can go get that free download in his dresser. So away, right? It's, it's away. Um, just like... I, I would I would leave it be um, and see what his behavior is, right? Like I I have old pictures of my exes. It's you know, right now it's it's in a box on the floor in my bedroom. Um, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that it it's meaningful to me. I already have fixed that shit and learn a lot, but my boyfriend is really in his own feelings. Uh, so if you want, you can get a coaching session to for me to do a deeper dive and help you, um, you know, sort of understand this better and unpack this better and, and know what to do with the situation that you're in. Guys, uh, follow me on Instagram too, just so you know. Um, I'm doing another coaching giveaway soon. How can you emotionally detach yourself from an emotionally unavailable guy? Um, you say, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who's not attached to me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to be in a relationship with somebody who's not in a relationship with me. So it's the dialogue in your head that needs to change. Also get no more assholes so that you understand what you need to be moving towards. Oh, this is sweet. My boyfriend and I are doing so good. I'm always keeping your advice in mind. Thank you, love. Appreciate that. Uh, where's your long distance relationship advice? It's in the link tree in my bio. There's a free guide. I've asked my significant other to not curse when we argue, but he continues to do so. So the boundary is you're not allowed to call me names. I can say that fucking pisses me off. I'm so fucking mad about this, right? People are allowed to express themselves. If you're going to be like um, uh, repressive in a relationship, like you don't get to be who you are. Like, listen, you don't get to call me names. I will not be in a relationship with somebody who's verbally abusive. If you're going to yell and scream, I'm not gonna stay around for that. If you can't control yourself, I'm not gonna be around for this but people get to to express themselves and if you're not okay with somebody expressing themselves if you're not okay with certain words you're not allowed to use certain words then get in a relationship with somebody who doesn't use those words but um you know just being so 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 repressive um you're not allowed to express your feelings this feels really shitty to me right now, right? Like, like that is, is taking it too far. Um, but here's the thing. How about you remove the arguing? How about you remove the conflict instead of the symptom of the conflict, right? Um, like, you can have a fever and I'm going to put you in a cold bath 
and reduce your fever, but have we taken away the sickness that caused the fever? No, we didn't. So cure the sickness, get fixed that shit, or come get coaching, get rid of the conflict instead of trying to be repressive during conflict. Again, you're allowed to have boundaries. You're not allowed to be verbally abusive, right? You're not allowed to call me names. Absolutely, absolutely. But you're not allowed to express yourself is repressive. How did me and my ex get comfortable with each other talking to other people during the three month rule? Uh, listen, do what you want to do. The whole thing about no kissing for three months is you're gonna do you. I'm gonna observe you doing you. And if you doing you isn't what I wanna be with, I'm not going to get into a relationship with you. Can you make a selfish person not? People have to decide who they want to be for themselves. So, not doing any card readings. How to know if he's telling the truth about something that looks like cheating? He has a story. You don't. If you don't have proof, then you cannot make an accusation. It's okay if you're from Holland. Uh, my um, coaching clientele is global. Uh, so all my coaching sessions are on Zoom, so it doesn't matter where in the world you are. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Oh, he downloaded Tinder but told me it was for a video. He was a YouTuber. Bullshit. Uh, dumb the motherfucker. Sorry. Sorry. You. So here's here's the thing. For me. If we're in a relationship, you're not downloading dating apps because dating apps are for talking to single people. So downloading Tinder for me is a dump. Uh, if you want to behave as though you're single, you're single. After a toxic relationship, my friend and I of two years got together, four months a healthy relationship. Good. Uh, so if you want to make a coaching uh, appointment, go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a coaching button near the top. Click on that. It takes you to a page. There are three steps to booking yourself in for a session. Make sure you follow all the steps. So my love, you said it was his friend's video, but I haven't seen the video. Who cares? He downloaded a dating app. Goodbye. Whatever the story is, I'm not so stupid. Goodbye. My boyfriend of one year doesn't post pics of us. He doesn't post a lot on social media, but I want. So here's the thing, right? You want him to change his behavior to ease your anxiety. You're making him the solution to your problem, right? So here's what you need to do. When you have a emotional problem and you wanna make someone else the solution, you need to change your behavior to ease my anxiety. You are doing the wrong thing. You need to be the solution to your problem. So instead of asking him to change his behavior to fix you, you need to change your behavior to fix you. The reason why you need to do this is because my number one relationship rule is it's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first. You want to go to him and say, I have anxiety. 
you need to do something to fix my anxiety. It's not fair to ask somebody to do something you're not willing to do first. So now this changes the dialogue. I have anxiety. I need to do something to fix my anxiety. Before you ask him to do something to fix you, you need to ask you to do something to fix you. So what will you do to fix your anxiety? My wife's love language is acts of service. What are some things I can do for her? Uh, acts of service. So every day, um, every day you're going to say to her, baby, is there something I can do for you? Um, even if she says no, the act of you asking was an act of service and that fills her love bank. Um, know what you can do for her on a daily basis that makes her feel loved. What is it? Is it making her a cup of coffee and giving it to her with a kiss? By the way, guys, if you are in a relationship, two kisses a day, minimum five seconds each. Um, so little, little daily things and every day saying, is there something I can do for you? And of course, you know, those, those big things as well, whatever they are. But acts of service is the act of doing something for someone. I kept hanging on to someone hoping for change. I'm glad I found you on TikTok. Yay, my love. Good, good, good. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. You're welcome, my loves. How can I make them not be so defensive? Get fix that shit. Uh, fix that shit helps you resolve conflict without there being defensiveness. Would it do someone you're just talking to stops talking for a day and then comes back randomly? Like a day is not a big deal. Um, by the way, talking needs to be talking, right? Talking is not kissing and having sex. Talking is talking. If you're kissing and having sex, you're not talking. You're kissing and having sex. So be clear about that. It's just past noon where I'm at 1215. 12, I was supposed to get my hair done today, guys. I had a hair appointment today. Of course, Ontario lockdown, not happening. Not happening, unfortunately. Uh, for those of you who want a notification when I go live, Click my picture up here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Where are my men at, by the way? All my men, do I have men in the, uh, in the comments right now? Men say, here I am. <clears throat> Where are my men? Shout out to my men right now. Ah, did you ever get told you look like Phoebe, Phoebe Buffet? Buffet, Phoebe Buffet. Um, rarely, but it's happened. It's happened a few times. Boyfriend lost his job twice and crashed a car. I don't know if we have a future. Is it shallow for me to have doubts? Not at all. You want to be with somebody who is steady, dependable, and responsible. If he is not showing that, then absolutely you have every reason to have doubts. And again, if he's not uh, dependable, responsible, then you should not be in a relationship with him because you cannot build a life with somebody who's not dependable and responsible. Here I am, I see a man. So are you single? Because I have a book for you. My single men, I have a book for you. I just released my first book from me to men. Uh, a lot of my books are me to woman, but I have now written one uh, from me to men. It's called The Perfect Play. I will show you. I will show you the cover. It is now available on Amazon. There is a button to that in the link to my bio. It's the first one. So here it is right here. Uh, so 
if you are single and looking to get into a relationship with a woman, not a girl, go grab a copy of that book. It's going to help you, help you, help you get into a relationship with somebody who is a generous long-term thinker, not a selfish short-term thinker. I don't have kids. My husband has two. So uh, for those of you who have um, backup questions to the question that I answered, do come get a coaching session. Uh, I can't do coaching on a live, but if you want me to get into your situation, unpack it and give you some clarity, uh, use that coaching button in the link tree in my bio. Ah, that's cute. Found Tinder on my boyfriend's phone on vacation. Is it bad if I want to enjoy the rest of vacation till I break up? No. It's not. It's fine. Enjoy your vacation and then do what you need to do. <clears throat> what should I do if my boyfriend's friends say they saw me do something that I didn't? then know that the truth is always on your side. And if your boyfriend doesn't want to believe you over his friends, dump him. Be with somebody who believes your integrity. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't see me. Hello. Okay, my loves, I'm going to hop off for now. I'm going to give you one more chance to set yourself up to get a notification when I go live because uh, I, I pop on pretty loosey-goosey. Um, so click my little picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on that bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Uh, guys, these are some of my books. I actually wrote nine. You can find them on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. There is some buttons in the link tree in my bio that help you access my books. So if you want, you can go take a look at what each of my books is about. You can go get them on Amazon. If you want an audiobook, Fix That Shit is an audiobook. You can only get it through the link tree in my bio. I do a coaching giveaway on Instagram, so go follow me on Instagram so you can take part in that coaching giveaway every month. I give away a one-hour coaching session. Um, I love you guys. I will be back later. We'll be back later. Mwah. Have a good lunch time. I'm going to go have something to eat before my first coaching session today. So I will see you guys soon.